A middle-aged deaf woman with short dark curly hair uses sign language to communicate. Text on screen reads, because I'm a woman. A younger woman, who has a vision impairment in her right eye, also speaks. Text with a disability. Next, another young woman with scarring above her left eye speaks. Her brow furrows. Text and I live in poverty. With a disability. And I live in poverty. My experience in discrimination is compounded. Text my experience of discrimination is compounded. A fourth woman, who is blind, middle-aged with light brown frizzy hair, and wearing sunglasses, also speaks. Several females then appear in quick succession. First, the previous woman with a vision impairment looks upwards, followed by a young woman with albinism who stares straight ahead. Finally, a young girl with dark frizzy hair, her bottom lip curled under her top lip. A young woman walks with a limp forward along a dirt path using a crutch under her arm. Text my education shouldn't stop because the road to school is too hard. An older woman with one leg sits in a wheelchair. She slowly makes her way along an uneven and broken cement footpath. Text access to my community is so difficult for me. Access to my community is so difficult for me. A woman of short stature with hunched shoulders steps out onto the veranda of a rundown house. The poles of the veranda are rusted. She speaks. Text I don't feel good when you exclude me. You know how I'm good then you know include me inside. The woman wearing sunglasses appears again, now wearing an orange dress and standing in a corridor outside an office building. Text how is it okay to commit rape without punishment? How is it okay to commit rape without punishment? The younger woman with the scarring over her left eye speaks. Text I have a name. I have a name. The deaf woman stands amongst palm trees. She communicates using sign language. Multiple tin sheds can be seen behind her. Text why didn't you include me in the cyclone warnings? Again, the young woman with scarring over her eye speaks. It is now apparent she does not have a right arm. Text don't call me by my disability. Don't call me by my disability. The woman in sunglasses again speaks. Text we have contributions to make. Several women involve themselves in various activities. A young woman wears shorts and a t-shirt and climbs a tree. The deaf woman sits and sews on a sewing machine surrounded by piles of fabric in various colors. Her feet, in flip-flops, walk along a dirt path. Her hands dip a large metal bowl into a bucket of water. A ball is rolled by another pair of feet in flip-flops. Then a young woman, head butts the ball into the air. We have contributions to make. Lisa. Text I am strong. A woman with a cross necklace, her frizzy hair pulled back in a bun, stands in front of a washing line full of clothing. Text I earn a living. Her hands hold a knife and a long, dried reed. She runs the knife along the reed. She then holds a young child on her hip. A woman hands her some money which the child reaches for. The child's mouth opens wide and the woman smiles. She carries a long plank of wood, transporting it from a hut with a roof made out of palm branches to a cement house, one part of which has no windows or door. Text I will build my own house. She stands in the doorway, pats the door frame with one hand, crosses her arms and smiles. Japanese. The younger woman with no right arm appears again. Text I am an athlete. She twists her upper body from side to side then picks up a shot put. Text and through sport I travel. The shot put lands, flicking dirt into the air. I am an athlete and through sports I travel. The woman with a vision impairment speaks. She sits on a bench with the woman with one arm and the young woman who uses a crutch. Both look at her and smile. Text I advocate for the rights of people with disability. I advocate for the rights of people with disability. The woman of short stature with hunched shoulders now stands at a table, on top of which is a sewing machine and multiple pieces of fabric. Text through my business, I contribute to my community, I have gained their respect. 
She flicks the fabric up and down and smiles widely. The young woman who uses a crutch now sits on the porch of a cement house with her crutch resting against the wall beside her. Text don't beat me because you think I'm weak. The young woman with a vision impairment walks in front of palm trees, smiling. She points to herself. Text I can live independently. With a towel over her shoulder, she hangs washing on a line in front of a corrugated iron shed. Her small child watches, standing underneath the washing. The woman then sits beside a large tub of water with washing baskets full of clothes piled beside her. She wrings the water out of a cloth then throws it in another tub. I can live independently. A young girl smiles. Text, I like to sing with my friends. She walks over to a large group of children who all put their arms out and start to sing. Like sing, sing yeah. The young woman who uses the crutch holds a chicken. She laughs as she speaks. Text, my business is growing. This is now. <laughs> the older woman who uses a wheelchair now has a grandchild on her lap. An older grandson walks beside her carrying a small grandchild. Text I'm a mother, a grandmother, and the boss of my house. Dot. Behind her walks a man, her son, carrying another small grandchild. I'm a mother, and a grandmother, and I'm a boss of my house. The woman in sunglasses now walks along a dirt road. From behind, she is joined by other women, including the young woman who uses a crutch, the woman of short stature and the young woman with one arm. Text I lead. I advocate. I won't let you stop us. I lead, I advocate, I won't let you stop us. The young woman with one arm smiles. The young girl, who likes to sing, smiles. Another young girl giggles. The house building woman smiles as she picks up a young child. The woman with albinism smiles. A young woman with dreadlocked hair smiles. The deaf woman smiles as she turns and holds her dress out. The young woman who uses a crutch smiles, poking the tip of her tongue through her teeth. Ensure women and girls with disabilities are included in all development efforts. So the woman with sunglasses speaks, followed by the woman with a vision impairment. Text no one left behind. No one is left behind. No one left behind. The woman with sunglasses speaks again. Text, include us. The young woman with one arm speaks again. Text include me. The grandmother in the wheelchair surrounded by her grandchildren speaks. Text include me. Include us. Include me. Include me. The deaf woman is joined by the young woman with dreadlocks, her daughter. Side by side, they both use sign language. Text include everyone. Finally, the woman of short stature flicks her fabric in the air covering the screen. CBM logo. Text together we can do more. Thank you to Vanuatu Disability Promotion and Advocacy Association, VDPA, for making this video possible.